if you made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching, or if I break it into two, thanks for watching part one, where I went into a lot of things, pocket draws, printing, uh, comparisons, really good. Now we'll finally get to the shooting part. We'll start with a 13 plus one, it's loaded, my very first shots at seven yards, and uh, using mysterious Winchester ammo, probably 115, my roommate gave me. Later we'll switch to some SAB, and later we'll do a function test. Uh, with a rainbow of different hollow points. Uh, these targets, this is a set of seven yards to begin with. These targets are from action targets I got on Amazon just now, but they're very, very small. Keep that in mind. Uh, the head is about half the size of a B27. It's very, very small, very, very short. And the body, um, if you're anywhere in the green, you're very solid for self-defense. In the green is uh, basically to the 8 zone on a B27. So they're very, very small. Keep that in mind. All right, first five shots targeted in the middle. Then 13 plus 1. Stuff, so it's probably which is the white box 115. Uh, so my roommate gave it, so I'm just kind of curious. Uh, not great, but not bad. Again, these sites are made for part of it's me first time with the gun, and the sites are made for you know up close and personal work. Let's try it again. Next five top right, and I'm doing this to familiar familiar rise to the top of the Hellcat because I've already put the 365 through its paces three different times, though I don't own one. So, had to be fair to get kind of used to it. to the trigger but that's probably my bad all right guys still some slow fire stuff switching to the Winchester white box uh, doing five and then five with the 365 and then I'm gonna do five and five with the Hellcat still going slow don't worry we're gonna shake and bake and, and wrap this up with some fast stuff but it wouldn't be fair to, to Hellcat to do that from the beginning we're at five yards now pocket uh, DeSantis nemesis holster I'm just gonna draw and go really really slow Hey dude, I don't want any problem. Hey man, I don't want any trouble. Boop. Good hits with the Roommate gave it to me. Pause it. I'm going to bring him in. This. Keep in mind, these are very small targets. Anything in the green is very combat effective. These are much smaller, like half size almost, of like a B27. So, like anything in the green zone is good. Everything's very, very good there from both. Target on the right with the 365. Obviously, very, very good. Target on the left with the Hellcat. So nothing in the green, guys. Everything there is combat effective. Probably because the wall, at least on the new gun, is pretty tight. I'm still pulling some shots low with the Hellcat. At least at first I wasn't, but on this target, uh, I pulled some to the left. Now picking up the tempo with hotter ammo SMB from the pocket. I'll do five and five, and then I'll Take the uh, P365, put it back in the pocket, and do the same thing. Hopefully you can see the hits on camera. And you sh this should be able to give you this vantage point to see the difference between the Winchester White Box and the SMB ammo. The SMB ammo is pretty similar to like 124, 124 plus P, in my opinion. 
So I'm still going to go pretty pretty medium uh, pace, guys, before we rock and roll later. Okay, dude, back off. I don't want to trouble him. Uh, yeah, much much better hits. Once we're picking up the tempo, we see that the site was designed more for self-defense. I got he's a small target. He's got very good hits, in my opinion, all very upper thoracic good uh, hits. I'll pause and I'll pull them in. Remember, these are small targets. These four are all really good. That's good upper thoracic, heart, lung area. But I was wrong. I got a freaking miss. Is that me? Probably. Getting used to the gun. Uh, getting used to that wall. Uh, the other target, though, is perfect. Again, five yards. That was a higher pace. These are all perfect there. This is a really small target. P365, SMB, same ammo, five yards, five yards. Picking up the pace. Hey dude, back off. I don't want your trouble, man. Back off. Pause there and we'll see the hits. All right, with the 365, just like the Hellcat, maybe not quite as bad. I got four really good. One, two, three. Uh, four, and then one pretty bad one, but not as bad with the 365. Again, the Hellcat was four very solid ones, and one miss bad one against small target, though. On a full-size body, that would actually be down in the liver. Uh, whereas the Hellcat on the target to the right at five yards had five perfect upper thoracic, really pretty tightest group. Sorry, tightest group. And um, with the 365, though, I got one pulled over to the right. So um, call that a tie or maybe even a little better the Hellcat. This 365 hit though, guys. Center line, that's that's on my nipple. Okay, so these targets are small. You got to take that into consideration. That's still a pretty good hit. We're not a so I got three attackers, three targets. I don't know the exact distance, but I'm going to, to make this fair, I need a real competition, I need to But I'm not going to move and shoot right now, we'll get to that later. I'm going to stay static in front of the first guy and give him a triple tap, center mass, point and shoot him. I'm, I, we'll see if I even pick up the front side, kind of slide focus, I call it. Uh, I'll tap the guy in the right, and I'll double tap the guy in the left, and I'll give the aim uh, headshot to the guy um, that's the biggest threat. It, Guys, I'll pause it and see how we did. All right, guys, closest attacker, triple tap, Hellcat, Hellcat, Hellcat. The three seconds flash from a different one I did earlier. Hellcat, Hellcat, Hellcat. That's all really good. Remember, this target's so small that even in the green zone is very narrow to my body. Um, even the green zone's a good hit. And the coup de gras at the end, perfect centered, center line, headshot. This head, a real human head's about that high. It's a very short. Target on the right, one upper thoracic, perfect hit right there. Sorry about the camera work right there. And uh, the second one low, that's me, that's not very good. I wish that I didn't do that, but I did. And uh, third ba bad guy, 10 zone, perfect as it can get. Here and here. So, Hellcat's very, very capable. I'll run it with the P365 next. All right, 365, three attack and drill, same exact thing. I'm, again, not doing movement to keep things um, lower the very so I'm staying on the same line, staying in the same place. Alright, I messed up. I loaded one last round of 365 and yet magically somehow I knew that, I think. I have to watch it back. Did I only double tap the first guy instead of triple tap him? I think so. So um, one's a perfect hit and one's way down low. So not nearly as good as the three that were in here. Three out of the four in here were from the Hellcat run we just saw. So not as good on the first target. 
The headshot also not as good. I was in the jawline. Still mess up someone's day, especially center line, since some teeth in the bad places. Uh, but might not be the immediate shutdown like that shot was. You know, pretty close though. Uh, Hellcat two were up here. 365, two were there. I give, I know scoring wise, this looks good. Maybe that's hard and that's a little low. Uh, I kind of like these better, pretty even. Maybe maybe Hellcat slight advantage. And uh, these were the two Hellcats, remember? Perfect tens. I dropped the, the 365 shots low. So in this target, definitely better than Hellcat. Which one was better? You be the judge. All right, guys, fast five, just at one attack or the one in front. Uh, at bad breath distances, stay, keep it on the line so I'm, I'm not changing very much. Uh, fast five, some mass, point shooting as fast as I can uh, with 365 and the Winchester weight box, I'm guessing it is 115. So not that heavy recoil. I'll try and get you split time this time, I'll try to remember. Hey, dude, what's up, dude? If you missed it, the 365 sometimes I'm not getting, I'm getting that holster coming out. That would suck in real life. Um, the Hellcat's not having that much of an issue. We'll check our hits in one second. 365 fast five results, guys. Sorry, I lost the split times on that. I uh, couldn't get them recorded. I don't know exactly where the, the five hits were. You have to go back, check the other videos. But I know for sure this is one of them. This is one of them. I think that, yeah, this is one of them. This is one of them. Those four definitely all very nice. I mean, look, guys. All very nice. Uh, and the fifth one, I think, was... I don't know which one the fifth one was. <laughs> so I lost it. I think the fifth one might have been there. I had four here and, and... Maybe these four and that five. I don't know if this was there earlier. So it might be these four and that five, which is friggin' awesome on a fast five. Uh, 365 always impresses me as far as rapid fire at close range. All right, guys, Hellcat fast five times at bad breath distances. Um, I swapped the targets left and right. I don't have time to go to a car and get clean ones. I apologize. Uh, but I do have the other ones marked. There's five around the 10 ring, and there's one down low right now, and they're marked. I'll be able to see where the hits are. This is with the Winchester uh, stuff. I'm not moving again, and I'm going to do the same thing, fast five up close and personal. We saw that the 365 last time the pocket holster came out. This time, instead of my usual draw, rocking it back to the right to catch on the pocket, I'm going to do a straight up and down. And for whatever reason, it's working with the 365, I don't think I'm going to have issues. So I'm going to brain fart mess up, which you might do if somebody suddenly pulls a knife out from behind the pocket or something, right? Yeah. Pause and we'll check the hits. Came straight up, straight up and down, and not a problem. Now everyone's body type and genes might be different. But something's going on here. All right, guys. Hellcat fast five results at bad breath distance. Almost perfect, like as good as you could want. I got one there, and remember, this is very short, so anything in the green zone is considered kind of effective to me. One there, pretty much perfect there. Uh, one, two, three, four, very good there, and one low, but center line, so center line is still pretty good. Four, upper thoracic, one low, but center line. So about as good as you can want. I got 420 splits and 121 split. The first one at 99, now this was hand on gun, uh, uh, benefits of pocket carry, so prepare to draw. That's an echo. Second shot, 1.21. On. So first shot, 0.99. Then 1.21. I, I lied. That's a 22, pl uh, 22 split. 10 seconds to echo. That's a 21 split. To the third shot, a 20 split. To the fourth shot, 1.62. And a point, uh, 20 split to the last shot. So a fast five from hand in pocket at 1.82. And all very uh, combat effective. 
okay, guys, be safe. Only do this if you have an advanced level. I'm gonna. The first guy's at bad breath. What if he had a knife and he swings it right at my neck? Okay, or stabs in the chest. We just saw a video of that. Who knows? Butt and chest looks like it's just gonna be a regular fight. And boom, five inch or six inch kitchen knife right into the guy's heart. The guy bled out. Didn't know what to do. Went after him like he was gonna fight, and he fell down after about ten paces. Um, so I'll do that from high pe first two shots from high pectoral index, probably do a head shot. So three for him, three for him, three for him, three for him on the back move retreating, and finally three for him. Do the math, that adds up to a lot. 15, thought it was a 13 plus one gun. I do not recommend this if it jams, especially on the second round or so. If it jams, do not hold this against Springfield. This is in case you mess up after the spring tensions went down and you overloaded the magazine. Um, I do not recommend overloading the magazine. Certain pistols like Glock with th only their plus two base, not other people. Uh, Wall there puts on the Magar plus two base. They sell them that way. They have really strong springs. It's okay. Springfield, I'm not saying to do this because it may not give you reliability, but it's a rental gun. I'm gonna try it out and see if it fires 15. Okay, it was obviously very hard to load, but I'm a strong guy. I tried to, to chamber it with 14. It was very hard to load. Um, so I think I got 15 in the gun. We'll have to count them after. And, uh, well, let's, let's run, run it. Punch distance, stab distance. Okay, you didn't keep a good fence. You got rid of it in the face. disparity of force, small wing, or stable getting attacked by another guy. Obviously, following the law. Look off to your number, man. I don't want to take trouble, man. Hey, dude, I'm sorry, man. Hey, what's in your head, dude? Hey, back off, dude. What's in your head, man? I think that was 15 shots. Obviously, first target got blown away, so I couldn't do the headshot or follow up on him. But that's a good thing. See, this is why testing is good. I am not recommending keeping it loaded that way. I think the math has worked out. I think that was 15. Don't do it. But in case an accident happens or something like that, wow. It's my approval. Let's check out the, some of the hits. All right, 15 shots on the move. First shot from the... Uh, High pectoral index, I'll take that all day long. Right there, second shot went under it because the target was flying back. Okay, I was at punch, stab to the neck, stab to the heart distance. Third shot, even though it was flying back and crumpled up, I got the head shot dead center. At some point, I must have done a Mozambique over here because I got one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Remember, these are small targets. I said every anything in the green is really a good hit. Obviously, those are... Uh, uh, very good hits for on the move and at some point I must have because I, I don't see any other hits I must have done a Mozambique on this guy. I'll have to rewind the footage unless there's something else I don't see any misses anything like that third uh, guy. I did not do as good. I got two up here These are very good hits three. That's still a very good hit again because it's such a narrow target and Fourth is a miss and on a normal sized person that'd still be a hit down by the liver these may be hits or these may be misses, so that sucks bad on me. Uh, but overall, guys, I would say for up close and personal business, uh, the Hellcat sights really work. I ran it hard. That was 15 shots. I don't recommend that. Um, for longer distance, if you, if you think you might have to take a longer, longer distance shot where you work, where you carry, whatever, maybe the uh, – I haven't tested it today, but it seems like you get finer precision out of the six sights. But for what both these pistols are really designed, I mean, I just – I just ran it at about from one and a half yards contact to breaking contact to about 10 or 11 yards, I, I believe, would, would have been my last shot. So, um, guys, pretty impressive stuff. Time for the grand finale, the mag dump function test with various ammo. Two, no, three Winchester uh, white box will be starting it off to hotter three rounds of SMB 115, really hot stuff. Standard pressure 115 Fiocchi, small profile hollow points. I think it's AP something. It's like a uh, flying ashtray. 
Uh, HTP 115 plus P, the only plus P 115 round I actually like without going to plus P plus. Uh, 124 plus P Golden Saber. And last but not least, probably the best round, 124, either of these actually, 124 plus P HSTs. All right, guys, the grand finale. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please share, please subscribe. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. I'm doing a mag dump with the mixed ammo I just showed you. And uh, here we are at about five yards. I'm going to stay stable for all 14 shots. Hopefully you can see some recoil difference, and we'll see how it goes. some more sprucks with the 115 plus P than we did with the 124. Um, uh, but the target was flying back when we look at the hits guys and I was point shooting when, like where the 8-9 ring is. I was just point shooting. That was all point shooting. Let's check the hits. Hope you guys liked the video. Look for my Ruger GP107 shot Halo exclusive. Uh, so all the first hits were in here guys and the target was flying back. I ate a couple up here but considering this was 115, 115 plus P, 124 plus P, 124. Um, you know, all on, all on target. Final thoughts, the Hellcat is a hit. The Hellcat's going to be a huge hit. It's more than capable, and I wouldn't be surprised if they make an XLR Magnum version with a 3.8 or 4.84 inch barrel version in the future. Thank you. Please subscribe. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe. I want to thank uh, Range Guns and Safes in Atlanta, Georgia. They have two locations. Check it out, Great Range. They're the ones that made this very in-depth video possible for you. Um, I might split it up into two, so if I do, make sure to check out part one where I go over all kinds of stuff. Anyway, thank you very much. Yo, homie, is that my briefcase? You want it back? Nice start. There's one more guy.